I want to use this HP Thin Client Workstation as a desktop to run Mach 3 on my CNC. It's very light, it's quiet, fast, and has a parallel port to connect my CNC controller. Is it possible to do? Stick around, let's find out. This HP Thin Client is an older model, it's a T5565. I took the plastic covers off. It kind of looks nice on top of a desk. But I won't be needing them since I would attach the little computer to my CNC control panel. So let's get rid of them. Now these thin clients are virtual desktop computers based on Linux kernel. Called Team Pro OS. They have no hard drive, no fans, no power supply in the little case and keep the OS in a flash drive and connect to a server through a network connection. It's got two USB ports up here, another two USB ports up front, audio jacks, power button. On the back has two PS2 connectors for the older style keyboard and mouse, two DVI connectors for two monitors, and the important thing, the standard DB25 parallel port connector Two more USB ports and the Ethernet network port. This cable is a Wi-Fi antenna. I will tell you about it later. And that's it. Okay, let's open it. There's only four screws holding the cover. Looking inside, this is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth module. This is the flash memory module plugged into the IDE connector. This is the serial ATA connector where I will plug the hard drive in. And this is a RAM stick. Now the hard drive and Wi-Fi module, I took it out of an HP 15 laptop. I never liked the laptop performance at all. Besides, it does not have a parallel port. Here's the hard drive bolted to the cover. I got this cable from eBay for $4, including shipping. Plugs in easily and it stays out of the way. I drill a hole right here to attach the hard drive, but I had to knock out this insert with the pliers to be able to lay the hard drive flat to the cover. I use a thumb drive with the bootable ISO of Windows 7 starter. I use Rufus to make the bootable ISO. At first I installed Windows XP Service Pack 3 from a DVD, but I could not get drivers for some of the thin client hardware, especially the Wi-Fi module. So I decided to install Windows 7 starter 32-bit, but I did not know if Mac 3 would work with it. So there was only one way to find out. I was gonna buy the power supply, but I found this Dell power supply that gives me the voltage and amperage needed for the mini computer. Although I had to change the plug that would fit the connector. Okay, keyboard and mouse connected. Let's test the machine. Pressing F10 will allow you to go into CMOS or BIOS setup. Here you can see if the peripherals are recognized by BIOS. Also, you can change the boot order. Make sure to select USB as first boot device. I have installed Mac 3 and everything seems to work fine. No crashes or hangs with the software. Maybe the fact that it's a 32-bit operating system, who knows. Regarding to the Wi-Fi module, when I took the hard drive out of my HP 15 laptop, then I realized that the thin client had the same kind of PCI connector for the same module. So that alone encouraged me to continue with the modification. Now the drivers for the module I did not find at the HP website. Instead did a Google search on the model number printed on the module. And I was able to download the drivers for Windows 7. It worked like a charm. Okay, so this is gonna be all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like it, please uh, give it a thumbs up and if you wanna subscribe to my channel, please do so. And we'll see you next time.